Hey everyone, uh, Yuvin here from Brother to Brother Tutorials, and uh, today I'm going to teach you guys about uh, some codecs, uh, like for video, and some media players for video, audio, whatever you want. And this is very important because if you don't have the right codecs for uh, video, like say MP4, like some MP4 codecs, then you won't be able to use them in either playing them or editing or whatever you're doing to them. You won't be able to use them. So it's best to have all the appropriate codecs and then some just in case. So um, after this intro, you'll <laughs> start. Alright, now to just jump into it. Um, here's the k -Lite codec pack, which is probably one of the best codec packs to get. And what you're going to do, if you have a 32-bit operating system, you're going to download the Mega Pack. It's got all these inside here. That's what you want. Plus a bit more. And so you just go, just open it, and then just click on the mirror, and then it should download and so on. And But if you've got a 64-bit system, you don't just download this one by itself. You download this and this. Because not all codecs are in 64-bit uh, yet and you're going to want a good compatibility going because um, you know for general use and editing you need as much as you can get so if you're 64 download, download both of them and do the same so just mirror one, mirror one, blah 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 and once you've done that install it and if you don't, if you're a basic user just um, like go, th go through it with the basic options when you install it you'll, you'll figure it out and the next thing, uh, a media player, uh, this is VLC, and this is <laughs> one of the best known uh, media players out there, and it's it's really compatible with things. Uh, I don't use this by solely, I don't use this solely, but a lot of people do, but it's fine because it, it works, it does the job for general, you know, it, it plays pretty much everything. Pretty much, not everything, but pretty much. So you're gonna download that, and you can install it, and then it, it looks like this, pretty much. Yeah, and uh, you can my one. I'm using an older version because I don't like the newer one because uh, they changed a fair bit of stuff. That I prefer the old version, so I'm using 1.0.5, uh, but the latest one is 2.0.2, .2, and it's a different layout and so on, but. You know, just use drag and drop or playlist, blah blah blah. And then next we'll come to the DivX um, site here, yeah, because uh, you can either get the whole DivX package, which is uh, the converter, the player, the blah blah blah. But just for most of you, what you're gonna want is this: go to software, DivX Plus for Windows, then codec pack. Then from here, what you do, you press free download and download it and install it and so on and that's there's that some very important codecs there and then finally we have the GOM media player this is also free and um, this I use as well I use a few players and this is one of them and this plays stuff like flash like swift files SWF and things like that and, and video audio blah 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 and it looks like this. It, it's it's okay. Like uh, the user interface is good. It's got an encoder thingy, but that's separate and so on. So this is it right here. And you can just uh, let me just drop something. Yeah. VLC as well if you'd like. Um. Yeah. And then, uh, oh, I almost forgot to mention. Uh, K-Lite comes with Media Play Classic, which is one of the most compatible media players there out there. And uh, it's really useful. I use this as well. And, uh, you know, just. You can experiment and uh, figure stuff out. But this is generally what you're going to need. So, the so K 
Daylight is the codec pack, and it comes with um, the MIDI Play Classic, which is pretty important. Well, I would think so. And GOM and VLC and the DivX uh, codec. And um, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, hope this helped you out a bit. If you've got any questions, uh, any troubleshooting you need, um, I may not be able to solve everything, but if you've got any you know, problems or something, just uh, comment or message me and uh, I'll try to get back to you with the solution. And codecs don't solve every video problem. Like, uh, if you install your codecs, blah blah blah, and it doesn't work out, chan uh, there's a possibility that it's not the codecs, it's something else. So, uh, don't blame the codecs. Just, uh, fix, you know, do some more research and, um, yeah, try to figure out your problem. Uh, yep. Alright. That, I think that wraps this up. Uh, if you've got any suggestions or anything, uh, comment, message me, you know, you know the drill. Uh, subscribe, like, you know, and, uh, yeah, alright, thanks for watching, see ya.